Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this micro linear actuator by Actuanix. Let's get started with this. This micro linear actuator can be used for different purposes for moving of uh, some elements in your robotics project or it can be used for robotic hand for each finger there is one actuator in this hand or depending on your application you can just move pull or push something and here's the package they're shipping it in this bottle type container and it's made in Canada and this is the model PQ 1263 6 that's 6 volts R and this is the actuator it's all plastic and it comes with uh, these hardware Here's the picture from their um, from the manufacturer the actuator have been purchased from robot shop for 65 US dollars plus the shipping this is the official, the manufacturer website and here there are the linear micro actuators and they are offered, offering it in different models so the, ours is the P PQ12P now let's have a look at the data sheet uh, the information sheet this is for PQ12 I'll provide you the link and they have different model the model that I'm using is 63 to 1 and these are the peak power point is 30 Newton at 8 millimeter per second and the peak efficiency on the force is 45 Newton and maximum side load 10 Newton uh, so stroke is 20 millimeter and the uh, input voltage is say 6 or 12 but the model that I have is 6 volts and the uh, stall current at 6 volt is 210 milliampere so that's very important to know because your power supply should be able to support it uh, here are some curves explaining the force and the amount of current as the force increases as you can see the current also increases and here at 6 volts for this is for the green this is the a plot for us 63 to 1 6 volts this is the model and in terms of model uh, specification this is pq12 gg and gg refers to 30 63 or 100 so ours is here we have 63 and then what is the vv that's the voltage either uh, 6 or 12 and, uh, and then c is uh, ours is written as p so this is linear servo 6 volts only and here are the rest of the technical details and dimensions if you need it and the cable length is 32.5 millimeter weight of this micro actuator with the cable is 22.5 grams length of the base is 36.7 millimeter 48.2 millimeter the width is 15.1 millimeter height 21.6 millimeter extended length is 66.6 millimeter and from this point when I extend the arm it goes 18 millimeter to operate this we have three wires here from the this actuator exactly the same as the servo we have ground this side the positive for the power supply is at the middle so even if you connect it incorrectly with other connector of this type it will never go wrong and this this white one at this side is uh, the signal this this is a ground the middle one is the positive 
So this is the VCC or 5 or 6 volts that you connect. For this one it's 6 volts and the ground is on this side. They put the power supply at the middle. They put a positive at the middle. Uh, here this is the ground. The wiring of this one. The, the connection of wiring of this actuator is the same exactly as the servo. I have another video explaining this how you can control it with Arduino and the wires are uh, the link for this will be provided below in the de the link for the video for this is in the description below and the wiring so you will connect this to to the ground or negative this will be connected to the positive power supply I'm connecting it to 5 volts but the actual application an actual power for this one is 6 volts but it operates also with 5 volts and this is connected to the ground this is connected to the positive 5 or 6 volts this is connected to the ground this is connected to the positive 5 volts and this way you can go up to 6 volts and this is the signal the pulse width modulation that this receives and operates exactly the same as the servo the connection of wiring of this actuator is the same exactly as the servo. I have another video explaining this, how you can control it with Arduino. The link for the video for this is in the description below. This is connected to the ground, this is connected to the positive 5 volts, and this way you can go up to 6 volts. And this is the signal, the pulse width modulation that this receives and operates. Demonstrate using it, it needs pulse width modulation from a receiver usually from RC receivers this is a very good uh, way to test it simply without any transmitter or receiver you can just connect 5 volts to the input and output will be connected to this and this is the same way the wire has been connected the signal positive 5 volts and then the ground will be connected now this is in in the middle I can put it in auto move the light here to the left And if I put it in manual, let me hold this, I can test it with different type of signal that this sends. I have another video explaining this and I've tested different items with this one like an electronic speed controller uh, and running brushless motor. This is a 2.4 GHz remote controlled RC transmitter. This is a transmitter and that's the receiver. And this is a six channel and we have here six different outputs with each with three pins. Uh, it can also supply power and signal. So ground, power and signal. We're going to use this to test the micro actuator. Fly Sky FSI6 a transmitter. And this is, as you can see, this is FSI A6 receiver and this is connected the light is on here the red if you could see it if I did if I turn this off that will start blinking showing that there is no signal but when I turn this on it shows there is a signal this, this can be connected to multiple channels uh, this can be channel 1, 2, 3 up to 6 channels I've connected it to channel 3 as you can see here this is channel 1 and then 2 and that is 3 and on this side that's the signal here it has been mentioned signal the middle one this one is the positive and then the negative these three wires this is coming from the uh, receiver and this is going to the actuator now as you can see the uh, the actuator is at the max so in case if you're using it for robots or, or something you will be using this stick to move it it's very responsive there is a delay because there are there is so many rotation this is 63 to 1 Uh, because this has six channel we can put it in different channels for example if I put it in channel one 
now this will be let this is now channel one at the middle it will put it there but this can be customized so you, the response of each can be e either reversed or changed so this is channel one if i connect it now to channel two now back at, at the middle it goes at the middle if i go push forward it goes back if I put back it goes forward again this can be customized I'm not going through that because I don't know what kind of type of transmitter you use I'm just sending signal so you will see let's go to channel 4 now we are in channel 4 now let's go to channel 5 now in channel 5 this should be one of the switch Yes, this switch, it has only on and off. When you push it, it goes fully. So, so depending on your application, you just press one button. And if you're using it in ARM or any other application, it just goes. Let's go to channel 6 now. Now this is channel 6. It, at the middle, it's at the middle. When I bring it back, it goes fully back. Because this is a three position switch. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this Actuanex uh, linear actuator. If you like this video and learn something, please thumb up and also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos.